what may be the world's largest hamburger stand this morning, and Pushkin's descendants crowded in. Their verdict on the feast was mixed. This woman doesn't know what she just ate, but she says it was unusual and delicious. We're all hungry in this city, she says. We need more of these places. There's nothing in our stores or restaurants to service. I spilt my milkshake, he says, and I thought they'd ball me out. Instead, they gave me another one. All of the staff have been taught to smile relentlessly all the time. I smile to anybody and they say, oh, what's wrong? What's wrong? I, I, I wonder what has happened. Why do you smile? Uh, they think that I'm laughing at them. And Boking Pushkin himself. I, I think he probably read a magnificent poem saying that it's, it, in this day and age, it's nice when the people can come out and get meat, bread, potatoes, and milk of the highest quality. What Pushkin did write was this. Happiness can only be found in communal pursuits. They started lining up this morning at four o'clock. Happiness today in Moscow lay in the communal pursuit of a Big Mac. The Soviet Union slowly collapsed from 1988 to 1991. Controversial leader Mikhail Gorbachev wanted to westernize the country, tear down the Iron Curtain, make the Soviet people free, stop the Soviet people from ratting on one another, get rid of the censorship, allow people to speak freely and to hear opposing voices, Stop sending people to the gulags. He did what he thought was best for the Soviet people. Through economic policies like Glasnost and Perestroika, he allowed Western companies, including McDonald's, to come into the Soviet Union for the first time in history. And for 30 years, McDonald's was successful. Until now. 30,000 people lined up in the Soviet Union to eat at McDonald's. This McDonald's has the record to this day of the most people served at a McDonald's. Russians love the burger. On March 8, 2022, McDonald's closed all 850 restaurants in Russia due to the Russian government's aggression and invasion of Ukraine. I personally believe this is a huge mistake that does nothing to hurt the administrative state in Russia, but only hurts the common Russian person. McDonald's is a cheap, high quality, depending on who you ask, and consistent meal. McDonald's has done so well these last 30 years to be a beacon of freedom and hope to a people who for so long rarely had any. If you ever visit Russia, would you rather visit a Russia where you can have chicken nugget grease covered fingers or a Russia where you can't? Other restaurants may close. Starbucks, Burger King, Ikea, and that is their own business decision. But for McDonald's to close at this time is a mistake. When people of the world see McDonald's, they see the United States. They see hope, they see freedom, capitalism, and they see a lifetime of memories. And it is a shame that at this tense moment in the world, they are closing their doors. It's rumored now that McDonald's is closing and another fast food chain, Uncle Vanya's, is replacing them with a very similar logo. Are we gonna let that happen? Макдональдс это что-то родом из детства. Когда ты идешь отмечать день рождения с своими друзьями, Макдональдс. И ну, это связано с каждым периодом нашей жизни. Конечно, буду скучать. Макдональдс это как бы 30-летняя история. 30 лет он. Вот это самое кафе Лира, знаменитый, который перед нами да, стоит. Да? Вот. Молодежное, кстати, кафе. И вот как бы после него вот эта самая молодежь. Она, кстати, и появилась. Вы сейчас вы зайдете сюда, там одна молодежь. И весело, и смело. Food, folks, and fun. 
Where there is McDonald's, there is hope, freedom, capitalism, and a desire for democracy. McDonald's did offer distractions like men who balance teapots on their heads. But Muscovites are well practiced in the art of patience. I didn't have to wait long, said Alosha. Only one hour. We line up for Lenin's tomb. We wait to see Russian heroes, said one customer. We can wait to see an American hero, too. I think it's a very tasty. Soviet waitresses were all sent to smiling school and given strict instruction. Having French fries and washing it down with a Coke, that was a dream back in 1990. I hope after watching this you feel the same way I do and you sign the petition below to raise awareness to McDonald's that we would like them to reopen their doors to the Russian people.